Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So we're coming very, very close to getting the next section of the campaign set up. I know I've said that for the past few videos that I've released for this, but we are very close. Uh, I just wanted to get another one up this week. Um, so I'm hoping to do a bunch of recording on Canada Day, which is July 1st for us up here, and uh, at least get that started. Hopefully get the first episode up this weekend, but we'll see how that goes. Right now I just wanted to test the Legend Killer. I got that set up, got Tiger Tail back, she was injured. So we got that back. Um, we're just going to move up here. Um, this was supposed to be a rescue mission, and I thought that we were supposed to be grabbing the operative and his data, but apparently the operative died or something on the way down, so... Uh, I guess there's only one base that we're supposed to be hitting. This is against the clans, as I was really hoping that we would have several lances to fight here. It's four skulls as well, so looks like we're probably only going to have the one lance up here and then one lance drop it in, but we'll see how it goes. We're just going to move up. Now, right now, the Legend Killer just got a temporary loadout. Not 100% sure how, well, how I want to finalize it. I'll show you it here in a second as we move these guys up. Understood. So here it is here. Originally I thought about putting three ER Larges and a pair of Ultras on it, but we ended up with two Ultras, two ER Larges, uh, obviously one in each arm, and then a pair of ER Mediums and a small Magna as backups. Runs a little bit hot, but it's not too bad. It's actually got half-decent speed too, which isn't too bad. Uh, let's just move it up. we got Tiger Tail, of course, piloting it. Moving to position. And what we got here? Hellbringer, get up a little closer. Location confirmed. we got a lot of Ultra 5s. I'm just actually mm -hmm. really realizing that now. But they work Location so well in dishing out damage, so... Especially when you can spam them. Alright, let's get, we got the regular rifleman here moving up I'm as there. well. And the Nidhogg, let's get it over here. So we're 590 tons on this drop. Which is probably way more than enough. I was really hoping for about four lances of enemies, like two lances at the start and then some reinforcements, but... Who knows? Summoner, Grendel, Timberwolf. Yeah, they got nothing. Rifleman 2C. That figures. All right, let's just move up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna send you up to the base if you don't mind, because you got the speed. You got the speed. So I've been trying to generate a lot of sea bills. We got the Highlander back um, from its repair but I gotta drop a clan XL I think in that and that's gonna be like three and a half million sea bills or something so I've been trying to pull missions off and generate sea bills in between but we're not quite there yet I think I got 2.7 right now after getting the rifleman up and running and getting all of our personnel back it's um, cost us a fair bit we're at 1.7 I think right now million per per month yep So it's pretty expensive to run our uh, little company here. All right. Um, just cycle through 57, 26, 23, 51 in the Timberwolf. Let's go after this guy. Timberwolf's more of a threat, but I think we'll just fire at this guy. Nice. Yeah. A little bit of damage fall off, but that's fine. We're gonna get that. Bad. Now I think this guy at the back's probably out of the range for our for our ultras here. This guy might not be though. Yep, this guy's in range. This guy is in range too. Hmm. Well, the gra what's he got going on with his arm here? Um. Slightly better on the on the Huntsman. Is it the Hunts? Wait. Grendel, Huntsman, and who else can we hit? Oh, the Summoner. Ballistics, probably an AC-20. Let's see if we can pull the Huntsman down. We've already started on him. And we'll go with Control Burst to start off here. Keep our recoil down. Copy that. Scored a critical hit. More of that came from. Okay, here comes Tiger Tail. 
Get up on the hill. I don't know what our chance to hit's going to be. I need a, I need a, a, um, a uh, level 3 optics. And I've only got level 2, so I think these guys are outside level 2 range. Although this guy's in trouble. Uh, let's just hammer him. That, hit. that was just a leg, I think. Now he's still going, yeah. Something I can do. Something I can do. Do we keep going this way? Hmm. Nah, I think we engage. I was gonna put him up on the hill for fire support, but I think when they get reinforcements, they drop in here anyway. So let's just go ahead and uh, finish this guy up. I think. Yeah, see, he doesn't have the range to hit properly. So that guy's gone. Mech destroyed. Got that right. On my way. You want thunder? I'll give you thunder. Rifleman 2C. Do we want to go ahead? I think we do. Roger. Give him the minefield. All right. Kind of a bad spread. Oh, he's going through it though. Getting some shots off. Yeah, uh, 30, 27 damage to each each leg probably. Yeah. So I mean, he's got large heavy and ultra twos, so not bad. Yes, commander. He's got a 600 meter range. I gotta be be careful of that, I guess. But I mean, that being said, too, that range is really um, confirmed. Like it's got damage fall off, I think. So you can probably hit for 30 damage at, at maximum range. Yeah, you got it. We got to get something going on with this rifleman now. Well, it's also the pilot too, right? So. You know, yeah, I think it's, it's more than 540 meters. We have level 1 optics compensator, or optics uh, in here, so, yeah. Negative damage, repeat. Negative damage. Plus the pilot's relatively hey. green, so. Alright, let's get you up this way. Throw the link up, for what it's worth. We'll support the storm crow. So who do we have left? Uh, the Hephaestos. All right. Well, thanks for showing up. Yeah, Commander. All right, Rusty. Let's get up into here. Starting to get a firing line going here. Now I got MRMs with tandem, which we're not going to use. Tandem to start. We'll just go with the improved, but we're gonna fire on this guy. Engaging. Nothing. Negative damage. Come on, guys, bring it on. You ain't got the juice for this battle. Yeah, you ain't got the juice. The level 3 optics really Commander. makes a huge difference. Roger that. Keep pushing it up the hill. Got what? Two more turns? Three more turns? A nice shot. That's all you got? That was who? This guy? Summoner? What no? What no? Stop complaining. Oh, you got some speed on you. Too bad we can't get a shot off here. Oh, we can. There we go. I'll there try. we go. The HVAC 20. 
So I haven't been really considering recoil on vehicles. I guess I should be. Like, I should just fire this once and then not fire it, and then fire it again, and then not fire it. Uh, we might as well drop quad missiles in this guy as well. Yeah. yeah. You're bringing pulse lasers to an ultra auto cannon 5 fight. <laughs> Let's give it to him. Yes, command. He wants the ultra auto cannon response. So you're the guy with the pulse laser, right? Large pulse laser. Do we kill the... Maybe we just kill this Grendel first. You got an LB-10X. Yeah, I knew you had the ultra. No, we gotta kill this guy. Oof, that's terrible. I mean, the Huntsman was standing still, so we got lucky with that guy. That's actually not bad on him. Not bad in the Grendel either. Is it the same? Yeah. Although the Grendel's in, in the range for the Boltons, though. Yeah, let's just switch targets to this guy. Alright, we'll keep on him. Waiting for orders. See if we can get these MRMs in close. On my way. Double time. I should be shooting for this Ultra 20 guy, but you know me. Let's see if we can pull this guy down. All right, sharing the damage what a little bit. Need? Um, I need you to move into here. Heading out. And I need you to open up on the same guy, please. Got some accident on this guy. Let's hammer him. Okay, I'm on it. Nice. Got past the armor. How did that taste? Ready for orders. Salty, I think. I taste a little salty. Let's get this legend killer going. Warlord. See what our chance to hit is. Okay, so this legend killer, I don't know if you guys know, but um you can't see it in here. We got the fire control system predator, which gives us bonus at long range. But this thing's sensors are basically tracker sensors, but they're Mark II, which means it's plus five at extreme range. So it's plus two for the Predator plus five for the <laughs> for the sensors. It's ridiculous. Like it really like look at it. It really is ridiculous. We're gonna fire it all. Like and look at the heat. Like almost nothing. And this is just a regular clan double heat sink kit. Like and a bunch of double heat sinks. So I'll show you the build after the battle. But I mean, Taking the shot. It's, it's a pretty good loadout for consistent damage. And I got 51 rounds for the ultras. So it's 12 turns of firing, double shot. So if we get into a long battle, it's still... Orders. It still has plenty of ammo, you know? Um, let's just move into... No. Here? Perfect. Confirm. I mean, I, I'm not sure... I'm not worried about this guy. Like, I, moving into the trees doesn't really matter, but... Because honestly, it's got so much armor that... Even if they did shoot it from range, they're not going to break through it, right? It's our heaviest mech. It's 85 tons. That's not a bad spread. Okay, he's coming into range. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. I see that. How's he doing? Well, getting there. I'm here. He doesn't move very fast, so he doesn't go over very very many hexes. And I'm grouping up again, but whatever. Alright, well at least this guy's down. Let's finish him off. Let's hit him hard. There we go. Mech destroyed. Yep. 
I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Ooh, we missed with two of them. Pas possible. Who's going first? The Grendel still. Well, maybe he'll get another HVAC shot. I don't know. Yeah, you better back up. Ooh, nice hit. I got five chevrons of, ev of evasion. He still hit me. They're shooting at me. Yeah, they are. Well, you shot at them. What's up, Commander? You shot at them. Be there in the chair. Okay, this goes after the summoner. Hmm, let's fire one of the... Well, hang on to the tandems. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe Not one more turn. Maybe. I'm not really worried about this guy too, the Stormcrow. It's got good armor. It's fast. And it's got those rockets that can pretty much I hate these guys. Take down a mech with one blast. I mean, if we get lucky and, and cook off its its uh, ammo and everything that is, but Yes, Commander. It's pretty darn tough. Um, yeah, let's put the rifleman a little closer. Maybe we'll shoot for this guy. Lots of armor. This is our next target. He's got the Ultra 20. Let's hammer him. Oh, I'm loving this thing. I mean, we're not putting up big numbers. That's the thing. Like, the numbers aren't big, but it's consistent and it's accurate, right? And it goes across multiple mechs, too, which is nice. Scored a critical hit. I was very, very close to putting um, a pair of LBX-10s instead of the Ultra 5s. Ooh, that was like full damage. Ooh, that hurts. And a head hit. Ooh. Broken jaw. Uh, orders? Yeah, I almost put oh, the LBX-10s on leave. that, but the Ultra 5s I just think are better. Alright, we'll get we'll switch back to that uh, rifleman in a second. Report. Leg gone. So I think we killed the I think we killed the Ultra 20 on this guy. So he's in for cleanup. Here. Which I think Bomber can probably do. Let's get into here. Moving to position. Now the Grendel might take a shot at the at, the, at uh, the Nidhogg here, but let's go for the kill. There you go. Mech destroyed. All right, now we're on to the Rifleman. Yeah. Actually, we're gonna hopefully we got a couple of mechs left here. Let's see if we can finish off this uh, Grendel. He's already damaged. We might be able to pull him down this turn too. Not a very good chance to hit, but we'll keep the acid up. Alright. Two PPC hits. And another head hit. The head hits now are ridiculous. The sheer numbers of head hits. I, I don't know whether they adjusted it with the... Um, Tis but a scratch mod or what they did, but the head hits are just stupid now. The sheer numbers of them, it's just ridiculous. I, I, I've come to grips with the Tis but a scratch mod, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. Um, but the, the head hits are just redonkulous. Like if I'm going to be taking wounds and damage and stuff from, you know, excessive hits to torsos and things like that, then, um, Dial back the number of times you get hit in the head for wounds, because the wounds and matches now are just stupid. Anyway, that's just my two cents. Target locked. Doesn't account for much, but whatever. Yeah. That hit something good. I'm listening. Are you? 
Grab the data, baby. Grab the data. Um. Oh, that's our drop. Yeah, whatever. Ready for order. I think I've kind of given up on the withdrawals now. Like, I mean, there might be some five skulls later on that I might want to withdraw from, but. You know, everyone's giving me the promptings that I don't need to withdraw. And, I, you know, I panic sometimes and do withdraw. But I'm going to try to avoid that now. I hate the round head on this thing. Commander? On the Rifleman 2C. Ten four. It really is kind of bizarre looking. Actually, let's use you on the Grendel. All right. Or not. <sighs> Commander? I thought the lower amount of firepower on the Grendel was a good idea, but I guess not. Move order received. I guess not. We're starting to heat up here. It's fine. Uh, let's hammer this guy. Giving him everything I got. Okay, is it Legend Killer's turn? It is. Oof. He's accurate with those things, man. Reporting major armor loss. He probably has the same thing that our need? rifleman yeah. has. The excessive targeting. There we go. Let's get a solid blue Bugging line over out. here. Got to get used to the slower movement now, too, because... Um, I'm so used to the playing like um, lighter units and clan units that they're like they're a lot faster. <laughs> the inner sphere heavy mechs are generally slower, so got to get used to that again. All right, let's get into here. Minimize the damage. Minim minimize any stability damage we'll take. This guy is a threat. Let's get on him right away. Ultras are back. Control bursts again to reduce our recoil. Let's hammer him. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah, he moved out of he moved out of your range, buddy. He's like he like nah, I'm not hanging around with that guy there. There you go. There's your solid blue line. Missiles locking on. Copy that. Stream of glory. Yeah, I guess we're not getting reinforcements. What? No. I guess you have to move still. There we go. Advancing. He's all yours. Don't miss. I love this Nidhogg. Okay, is he done now? Oh, he bailed out. Beautiful. Who's up? Standing by. Down. Well, that was easy. So in the next uh, phase of Battle for Astrocassia, I'm splitting my two lances up for each of the playthroughs. So in this one and a, the Night Gaunts, we're going to have two separate lances running for each of them. And then for the bigger battles, like when we, if we get, uh, encounter some heavies um, or assault mechs, I'm going to bring them together. Um, and try and run it with as many mechs as I can in the bigger battles. So we'll have a bunch of smaller battles, and then we'll have hopefully some bigger battles later on. Now, what do I want here? ERPPC, we got two. Ultra two. That weighs like six, five tons. Okay. Rifle 2C. I'm sure this. Oh, I'm going to grab this. How many of these do we have? Two. 315 core, Clan Pharaoh. We've got one, so we're okay. We've got that. I should take it for sea bills, though. There really isn't. Oh, wait. AMS ammo. We got four now. Okay. Ultra 20 ammo. Take that. We've got Ultra 2 ammo. Oh, tracker sensors. Do we have these already? We've got one. Let's grab another one just in case. I always like having backups of stuff that, you know, 
that I use a lot of. If I have like one or two backups, it's great. Active Pro, we've already got. Yeah. Ultra 2, I don't know. I mean, we could try to do a double large heavy laser build at some point. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. I mean, we could... This is only 65 tons. Uh, we've got Timberwolves in the other playthrough. Let's just grab this guy. That's fine. All right, what do we get? Grendel parts, which we can get rid of. The Huntsman was what? 50 tons, so we can get rid of that too. Summoner part and Timberwolf part we'll hang on to. Those we're going to hang on to. Um, how many of these do we have? Three. We can get rid of that one. 66,000. That's nice. Uh, I've got my my stuff turned up, though. I'm going to hang on to the 315 core. Um, I could probably sell that. Heavy jump jets. We got four. Let's hold on to them, then. And we'll hang on. I guess we'll hang on to those. Streak ammo. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using streaks. The Ultra 2 ammo, though. We got the Ultra 2 as well, didn't we? Okay, perfect. We, we, we might put this into service with somebody. All right, let's quickly jump in. Uh, McBay. And we'll have a look here. So the Highlander's back. So here's the legend killer here. So the, the original Rifleman is 60 tons. Right? So let's have a quick look at that. I took a couple of things off this. So I changed out the ECM with um, the Guardian ECM that was here with a regular ECM. I put the Guardian in the legend killer. Um, Predator State took the, the uh, tactics um, support off of this guy. And what else did I grab off of here? I think that was it. Oh, I yeah, I put in the uh, Optics Mark One here, and took the Mark Two out of this guy to put it in the Legend Killer. So this guy's got the double AC fives, which are eight tons each, with a ton of ammo each. So incendiary and regular ammo. Pair of small lasers as backup, two seventy core, and then this guy. 70 tons, a little better. So this guy is actually quite good, I think. So I got the Clan XL in here, put the Guardian ECM in. So we're running with the two Ultra 5s, the two ER large lasers, two ER mediums, and a small laser magna. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double heat sinks extra, um, plus one in the, in the core, 280 core. Um, I did put the Clan, or the, the uh, Case 2C in here. Uh, because I had the t I had the tonnage, I thought well, I might as well. Um, so we've got yeah, we've got 36 shots here, and 15 shots here for 51 shots. So it's about 12, 13 turns of firing. I thought about just going with like a couple of tons, but like that last battle was easy enough. But if they had four lances, like if there was two things that we had to pick up, and they got reinforcements, and they ended up with four lances, that's 20 max, and uh, the extra ammo is just going to be needed later on. So I would rather have it in the build now um, than have to need it, you know, a little later. So, and then we got the Optics Mark II. We've got an exchanger in here. The heat efficiency is actually pretty good. Uh, we're only over by eight, which really isn't a lot. Um, we can just mitigate it. Like, that's if everything fires, right? So the ER mediums and the smalls aren't firing uh, until we get to a certain range. The small doesn't fire at all, so it's four. So we're only f over by four plus whatever our move is. Then I put a uh, active probe on here. So we've got a tactic support A, the fire control system predator. We're not, I mean, we're pretty good overall. Two at extreme, two at long, one at medium, two at minimum. And then the tracker, um, plus five at extreme, plus three at, <laughs> at long, plus one at medium. So we're plus two at medium, plus five at long, plus seven at extreme range. So, yeah, and with the ER largest shooting at a thousand meters, well, nine hundred meters, and these guys are what six six hundred, eight hundred and forty, <laughs> like it's ridiculous. Like you just you don't even need to close at the enemy. You just keep st stand back and shoot. And that's what I'm going to be using this guy for. This guy and the other rifleman. Um, I might adjust the loadout in the other rifleman slightly, 
But um, that's what the goal is going to be with both of them, is just have them stand back and just hammer the enemy from a distance. Um, it's nice that we have the extra laser slots here, but like I, I, looking at this build, I couldn't really use them. I mean, I could have took out the ERs and put in four regular mediums and drop a couple of heat sinks. But, you know, I think having the ERs in there, I know that it's only 30 damage. Um, it's only adding, what, 20% extra damage for 100% increase in heat or more. But the extra range, 540 meter range, um, just means if the enemies do close with us, we have actually a good a good range which we, which we can engage with these guys and still stay cool. So, yeah, the only thing we're missing on this guy is an AMS, but I think if he's standing back and he's hanging around, hanging around the longbow, the longbow's um, AMS Mark II should uh, more than cover this guy. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the way this turned out. We've got the XL Gyro in here, too. I kept adding as much as I could to, to drop the weight, um, just so we could fit as much in as we could. Now, I didn't have a lot of prototype double heat sinks, so I probably would have gone that route, because it like, uses up a lot less space, um, and I can mitigate a lot more heat. If I had that, if I had enough, because I've only got, I don't have a don't have a prototype double heatsink kit. Oh, I, I do. Sorry, I did. I just only have four protos, which well, which wasn't enough to drop the heat. So I mean, you know, this is the pirate version too. So it is what it is. But yeah, I don't mind the build. I don't mind it at all. I think if we get a um, prototype double heatsink kit in here. And enough prototype double heat sinks, so I'll try it that way. See if we can get, gain a little bit more heat and maybe drop the small and put a couple more ER mediums in. If we can mitigate the heat, I think that would be good. Or an AMS, we've got room for AMS in here too, right? So, but yeah, and then if we go back, um, so the Highlander, I haven't decided what I want to do with that yet. This is kind of a weird, like, we don't really have a lot of points on this thing, right? We've got a bull big ballistic and a big. Uh, well, a pair of missile points on this, plus some laser points, which really isn't a lot. Um, I guess it is depending on what you put on it, but uh, we don't have an Ultra 20. But we could, we could put an LBX 20 on here because the range for this is like 480, right? Yeah, 480. So that's pretty good. Uh, we got the combat shotgun here, which we can actually get in if we want to. That's a 450, six ton melee range. Um, oh, we don't have any. We don't have a hand on this side. Never mind. So we can't do it. Um, you know, or we could go with like a long range build, but I think I'm going to go with a closer range brawler build on this. Got the 300 core. It's not very fast. It's 3.5. But if I can find a way to increase the speed, like with a supercharger or something along that line, I'll probably drop that in. But yeah, I don't know. And then for missiles, I don't really have a lot. So we got some, we have a few SRMs. And we got a few LRMs. I mean, we could go with an LRM-30 loadout. Uh, we don't really have the ATMs, although the TBM-30 would be nice. I still want to get this into something at 17 tons, but like I said, it uses um, Thunderbolt 10 ammo, and we've only got two tons of it. So, and this is like, what, four, six shots? And this is six shots, right? Yeah, so it's four turns of firing with the TBM, and, and it's like, it's a 17 ton waste of space at that point. So, so this uses, yeah, Thunderbolt 10 ammo only. So, I mean, it's not bad, but... <sighs> minus 20% chance to be shot down. We could go with a Thunderbolt 10, like a, just put a 10 in. Or we could put an arrow in. Or I could put, if we're going to go brawler build, maybe we put a pair of MRM 20s in, you know. And then it would just be ammo at that point. Well, no, not really, because, I mean, we'd still have to could go with Pharaoh. I mean, I'm not doing this now because I don't have the money for it, right? But you can see how quickly we can gain some gain some weight. So the problem will be heat sinking. Um, once we get the ammo in for the weapons, um, I don't think we have any LBX-20 anyway. Yeah, we don't. So, I mean, once we get the ammo in for the weapons, it would have to be Goss, I guess. Um, for now. You know, I never had a lot of success with Goss Rifles. I've seen them miss a lot with them. So, I don't know. 
but it is like heat neutral because we're going to be filling up in space pretty quickly with this mech so being as heat neutral as possible i think is probably good so we have we don't, so we don't have to add a lot of heat sinks i mean i was okay, i was kind of maxed out with the rifleman had to be really really careful so we got what two tons of improved ammo here so let's um five turns ten turns of firing and then maybe like i don't know i mean we could go regular five turns re uh, incendiary five and tandem five and just that's 15 turns of firing and just choose whichever one works the best as we're going and then yeah then we still got i mean the problem then becomes like it's all heat management now because there's like we could add lasers but then how do we sink the heat right how do we sink the heat so if we go something big you know and then we've still got like tons of weight left so maybe maybe we don't we could leave the XL out like we don't have to have the XL so this is a little less of a brawler build though now it's more of a range build but what if we go with um, where is it here could go that route you know yeah I think if I, if I was going to do it though it's like minus one to hit with this guy I think I would rather stick with the PPC it's like so it's two tons more which doesn't bother me it's 11 heat less and 5 less damage with a recoil of 1 so I mean it's still pro it's probably slightly better because it's got a better range it fits better with the Gauss rifle and then at that point you'd probably want to switch these out and then you're, you're at a range build then you know I wanted this guy to be a brawler but I just don't have the weaponry to do it Wait, what are we... I mean, we could go with... I don't know. Yeah, I still have to pull off some more missions, I think, to get some gear for these guys to, to get them maxed out. Or we could go with a sawed-off thumper. Seventy-five damage, twenty heat, though. Good range, minus one accuracy. Double crits. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We do have LBX ammo. Wait, do we have a big AC-20? We do. We just got a regular AC-20. I mean, that's the other thing, is we could just go with an AC-20. What do we got ammo-wise? I think we've got incendiary ammo, and we've got precision... A regular double loadout. AP ammo. Through armor crits. Minus one accuracy though. That's weird we don't have any incendiary. So how many rounds is this? Three, six. That's a lot. Too much. Way too much. This is only four shots, 95% reduced explosive potential. So that's 10 turns of firing there. I mean, we might go that route, 13 turns, probably. If we're going to be brawling, we'll probably need it. Two recoil, we'd have to get some, I don't think we have any shoulder uh, stuff for this thing. And the other thing too is we could add a, uh, we could go with stealth armor instead. Yeah, well, at this point, though, it's all coming down to weight again. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the in the uh, comments section down below. I mean, we could go with the double MRMs for close range. That gets us close, and then we'd have to get, you know, a um, we'd have to get a uh, where are we here? There we go. We'd have to get 
some kind of laser in here too. We got five tons left, so then maybe it would be the uh, large improved heavy. Wow, this thing added that much weight, eh? I know we pulled the XL out, but I didn't think it would take that much weight. Uh, where is the... Yeah, we're still, I mean, we're under a little bit. Either that, or we just go with like... Go with like a ridiculous medium laser sp uh, spam. Bright bloom. Increased range. Fall off damage. But still, Exostar is a bonus to hit, right? Get that in there. If we can get some more Exostars, that would be great. I mean, we could go that route, or we could go even better than this. Even better than this is um, these guys. Oops. Get a pair of them in there. And then internals. Do we have we got the we have the room? Internals we could go with a couple of double heat sinks. Yeah, we could go with three. And we can build it right now. Drop a quarter ton off the back. Uh, we don't want to drop too much off there. Maybe a little bit off the front. Something like that. So AC-20 to a pair of medium heavies and a pair of MRM-20s. It just seems for a 9010 mech, it seems underwhelming. I couldn't even, I can't even squeak the Clan XL in at this point because I don't have the torso room for it, right? It's so underwhelming. That we would probably have to go... I mean, we could go ballistic range. Increase its, increase the AC's range. Because, I mean, the pilot's going to probably have two recoil reduction anyway. Or we just go accuracy overall. Like we could go ballistic accuracy. I don't have a lot else. Um, reducing scatter. It's not going to work. Uh, piloting and tactics or gunnery. Probably gunnery for recoil reduction. Or we could go enhanced imaging. Gunnery and piloting. Because if we're in close, it'd be nice to be able to fire and then maneuver out of the way. Which means we can't get the sheath beacon in, which means we have no stealth. I think I would want the stealth more than anything. Firing maneuvering is okay. This might be nice, though. Extra sight range. But the um, having a guardian on here, jam like ECM jamming of four, I think that's probably the best way to go. And that would be it. Um, so I don't have a lot of... We're going to have to get targeting computers. So internals, I think I've got a zoom. Got a heat bank too. I mean, we could go with the heat bank. Got an XL gyro too for a little extra weight if I want, but then it takes up the extra space, which means I can't put anything in. <sighs> yeah, it's so iffy. We'll go with the advanced zoom for now. Mark 1. Negates no visual to 540 meters. I mean, we only need a Mark 1 targeting computer. These things have got a range of 600, I think, don't they? 540. So 540s are max anyway. These are what, 380? 360? So yeah, I mean, max is 540 anyway, so 
the advanced zoom tier one is fine. Once we can get all the optics in there, that'd be nice. Yeah, it's still just such an iffy build though. Like, I don't know, let's try it. I mean, it's got lots of armor. Yeah, let's just try with what we have. We'll make adjustments as we go. I'm sure we can get... I'm sure we can adjust this later on. There's lots we can do with it. The minus 8% weapon heat from the double heat sink kit here is nice. But we can't really util utilize it all that well. I mean, it is... It's okay. I mean, technically, I guess we could drop a double heat sink now at this point. Giving us one ton for something. Like a, uh, a clan probe. Probably. Oh, it's already included on here. Active probe, yeah. Increase sight and sensor by 10. ECM shield of 4. Yeah, we don't have any Guardian ECMs or anything either, so... C3 unit. One sensor ping. Meh. I mean, I guess I could drop a medium laser in as a backup. Or we could go this route. Less accuracy, but less, but more recoil reduction, which means we get to fire more often. Let's go with this one instead. It'll drop our heat even more. Yeah. And then we can go ahead and do... Um, let's grab... Where's the accuracy? Exostar laser. Put that on that side. And I think we'll go that route. So, I mean, we're a little bit over, but we're back to four over. Perfect. All right. 750,000 is not very much. So let's just get this going. I wasn't expecting to do this, but there you go. And, and now we've got the, um, shouldn't be too hard. the Warhawk and the Orion here that I want to work on at some point. So we've got... Enough for two lances of six. But I want to get these guys going so we have extras. Because i got a feeling we're going to need them. This is going to be the spearhead lance. These guys are the guys that are going to be taking on the main enemy force. And um, the night gaunts are going to be doing a flanking maneuver. So these guys are going to be pushing straight in. So I want to make sure these guys are uh, um, a little heavier. So we've got an 85 and a 75 tonner here. I'll probably bring out the Hellbringer and maybe the Rifleman. And replace them with these two. I want to keep the Stormcrow as a fast scout. It's always nice to have a fast mech. So I might keep that in there. Um, but two lances of five. Maybe we go two lances of six instead or something like that. Probably. But right now we're working on the two lances of five. So. But I'm going to leave this episode here guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like. If you haven't subscribed. Please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time. We'll see you later.